seven years, and North East Lancashire turned out in force for the final of the full Members' Cup against Charlton Athletic. An estimated 28,000 Rovers fans, including one who'd flown home from Australia, completely drowned out the London contingent in a crowd of 40,000. They almost had something to cheer about right at the start, but Simon Garner blazed over the top. Charlton's best efforts were reserved for the second half, but they found Rovers keeper Vince O'Keefe in inspired form. The game seemed destined for extra time when Rovers finally did it, just five minutes from the end. Ian Miller got past his man on the right, his cross eluded the Charlton defence, and Rovers' new boy Colin Hendry hammered home a spectacular winner. Charlton were finished, and when the final whistle went, the Rovers fans were jubilant. The players also joined in the celebrations, goalmaker Ian Miller performing an impromptu somersault. When the fuss had died down, Blackburn's Scots contingent reflected on a great day for the club. To be a second division club to come to Wembley and win a trophy, I mean, you should forget about the game really and just say we've won it and that's it. But I think the boys are professional enough to appreciate that we can play better and disappointed for the fans to a point that it wasn't an entertainment. The only thing we've got, the only comfort we've got, the vast majority have gone away today happy because we won. I think that uh, if I'd been neutrals here, they'd have been very disappointed with the final. I'm disappointed with the way we played, so are the boys. It's the greatest throw in my footballing career, absolutely tremendous. Um, we didn't play very well, to be in all fairness. Charlton ran the game, but to win at Wembley is everything. So, and you could ask our supporters, they've gone home delighted. Tell us about the goal. Yeah, the fullback, he showed me the inside, so I just knocked it past him, went around outside of him, and it wasn't a bad cross. I missed the keeper out, and uh, okay, the big lad was at the back post and he stuck it in. The play in a cup final at Wembley, I mean, you don't, you don't think about that unless you, get, you go for a big transfer maybe it's an English club, and you play an FA Cup or a Lockwood's Cup final. But to play here in a Cup final, score a winner, it's, well, it's the greatest feeling I've ever had, probably I will ever have. What did you feel like when he sort of hit the net? Well, I was, I didn't even know what to feel, because it was all new to me. I thought, I don't know how to run for a start. I said, well, run that way, or what? <laughs> well, run that way. Uh, oh, it was great. Now you've got to get back to the business at the bottom of the second division. Not until Tuesday, we don't. <laughs> Blackburn Rovers' greatest day for a quarter of a century began alongside Sunday League footballers in a public park in Hertfordshire. Light training was followed by light lunch at their hotel. It may only have been the full Members' Cup, but the players were enjoying the trappings of a final. Then a team which only weeks ago seemed to be heading for the third division was on the road to Wembley and so were nearly 30,000 of their supporters. They don't recognise us! <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed even coming through the streets here, seeing boys walking around about in blue and white. Uh, I know there's certain London clubs playing blue and white, but not blue and white halves. And there's boys with blue and white shirts on, blue and white scarves on it. It's fantastic, but they've come a long way. They made a big trip of it. We've got to make a day to remember for everybody. Every footballer's dream was coming true for 11 players from the lower reaches of the second division and fans they didn't know they had were there to cheer them on, outnumbering the opposition almost three to one it seemed. Well that's the first time at Wembley, I've never been before and always said if I came to Wembley I'd be to sit Rovers. So yeah. What about the support today? Fantastic isn't it? It's really great. What about Charlton support? Where are they? Where Can't are see they? any. Have they come down uh -huh. today? An hour before kick-off, the players chance to try out the famous turf. But unlike greater Wembley occasions, this was a family final. And for one Rovers player, good wishes from his young son. You alright? Enjoy yourself.
And so the scene was set. For the first time in 27 years, Blackburn were at Wembley, their opponents, 1st Division Charlton. Sadly, the match itself did little to improve the poor reputation of the full members' cup, but Blackburn opened strongly and Simon Garner could have given them an early lead after a defensive mistake. But Rovers' finishing let them down. A David Mayle free kick found Scott Sellers in space, but he wasted it. Neither set of fans had much to cheer about, and in the second half, the first division side seemed to be getting on top. But goalkeeper Vince O'Keefe denied them several times with fine saves. One of them setting up a chance for Simon Garner. He ran three quarters of the length of the pitch, only to see a tame shot easily saved. But with five minutes left, Ian Miller's cross found recent signing Colin Hendry, who made no mistake to score the goal which won the cup for Blackburn. We've enjoyed it, we've enjoyed it, we'll have a good night tonight. Oh, the goal were a pearly. There were nothing wrong with that. Nice to take him. So it's a dream come true. 21 years of age. This is my ambition. Fulfilled that at 21. Greatest thing ever. We won. Right. That's, the only, that. that's the only thing that matters. We won. The fans are absolutely unbelievable here. And uh, it's what they deserve. They've not been here for 27 years. And what a, what a great day it's been. Lovely. Brilliant. Can't ask for anything better. First time down here, but it's been great. You know, really enjoyed it. <laughs> a taste of success for the Rovers, signalling perhaps a return to the big time.